Bears fans, I am backstage with the big winner tonight. He is undefeated in the squared circle. No one beats us to the punch. Fred, right? Yep, second time. Talk to me a little bit about the fight. It was a war. She really showed some heart. Yes, she did. Jocelyn, she's, she was a tough opponent. Um, she actually came in heavy at weigh-ins, and I decided to take the fight anyway. You know, I've trained my ass off, so I knew it wouldn't make a difference. It was like a five-pound difference. Um, so, I mean, I went in there with all I got, and she's definitely a tough fighter. A lot of experience. She comes from UFC. Um, and definitely has a lot of art. She was tough to take down, so I I'm surprised that we went all five rounds. How do you feel having the win tonight? Does it seem surreal? Because she is a very experienced fighter. It feels amazing. It's it's definitely something that uh, feels good to have under my belt. The the fact that you know I defeated such a tough opponent again. She comes from UFC. She's fought some tough fighters in her in her fight career, and it feels great to be able to go toe to toe with her. What was the game plan then for her? The game plan was the usual for me, aggression, smart aggression, pressure, forward, um, keep taking her, going forward, keeping her against the ropes if I can, and not giving her that chance to think and, and get her own play, game plan going. Did she do anything in there that surprised you though? She has a tough chin. I thought I thought I was, you know, getting a lot of punches in there and I, I was surprised that she just came back, you know, nothing, didn't do nothing and she kept going forward. What's your message to the other women in this division? The other women in this division, I mean, if you guys don't know, I, I have two small children, I have a business, I have a, a husband, you know, life is hectic and it's all about balance and not losing yourself, you know, if it's this or anything else that fulfills you, don't give it up, don't lose this part of you because, um, you know, that's, that's what's important. So you got to learn to balance it out and if this is your goal and your dream, keep at it, keep at it and and be happy. <laughs> How do you manage it all, though, as a mother, as a fighter? You also, as I recall, when we spoke last time at Knucklemania, in this exact same arena, so to speak, you run a construction company, if I remember correctly. How do you do it all? Uh, like I said, it's balanced, and I get a lot of help. I mean, I have my husband, and, and he's a great support. He handles the family life at home when I'm training. Um, I got my colleagues at work that help me to balance out and when I can delegate that. Um, it's balance, and like I said, you know, keeping what makes you happy, uh, that's important. Because if I didn't have this, I wouldn't be able to manage the stress. <laughs> what worked for you in this fight, and would you do anything differently next time? Um, there's always something to learn. Um, you know, better defense, try to push her more against the ropes. Um, there's a few things I got to go back and work on. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with my performance. Uh, every fight is an opportunity to learn. I felt a lot more comfortable than I did my first fight. Um, but like I said, there's always something to learn from every experience. You know, that is so important to the mental aspect coming in. I would think moving forward because you did fight such a stellar fighter that it would give you kind of a mental edge. And so much of the game is mental, is it not? Absolutely. A hundred percent, you know. Um, like I said, even the situation with the weigh-ins, if you start thinking about it too much, oh, you know, she's heavy, what did I do? Am I making the right decision? It starts to mess you up. So at the end of the day, you got to win that battle and tell yourself, you know, I've been training my ass off. I came here to do a job. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to finish it. Well, you certainly are the winner tonight. Before we go, are there any friends, family, sponsors, or kids you want to thank? And maybe your husband, yes. too. <laughs> Absolutely. My husband, Marcel, and my kids who, who are watching online, my team, Freestyle Finding Academy, that's where I train out of. El Toro Local Management, um, they've been amazing. Aldo, Edgar, if you can come here, champ. Um, these guys have been you know, through it with me since Knuckle Mania. El Toro Loco Churraqueria, eh, El Toro Loco MMA, Edgar Plazaola, our champ who won uh, in Knuckle Mania, he, he won his fight. Uh, these guys, they're awesome and I couldn't do it alone. This isn't a one-man sport, this is a team. I want to say, guys, Cubans, five and zero. All the Cubans are the stars of the night. Yep. This was, uh, in my opinion, the, the, it was a war. 
She really represents, so I'm very proud of her. She's an amazing woman, amazing mother, great fighter, representing all Cuban people. Thank you. We're very proud of you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. Entonces, mucho gusto para la entrevista. Mucho gusto para la entrevista. Mucho gusto para la entrevista. Mira, for Bare Knuckle News, I'm Susan Chigori, and this is... Christine Vicenz. And nobody beats us to the punch.